Hey everyone, just a quick one for you today. So I'm trying to industrialize this process of knocking out YouTube videos for affiliate products and getting them ranked on page one very quickly using a combination of embed social signals and engagement from a service like Vidoptima or whether I can try and recreate it myself. But the first issue I've got is how can we speed up this process where they've clearly got the formula that works for their titles and their descriptions. So see my previous video where I try and reverse some of the top performers in this niche and try and reverse engineer what they're doing. You can see they're basically using the same headline every time. And then the descriptions are long form SEO optimized stuff with keywords. So you can see we've got hashtags, we've got call to action, uh, lots of keywords stuffed, and then almost like a blog post, long paragraphs, and then keyword optimized chapters. So I basically want to, obviously I can't just copy their content straight away. So what I want to do is try and reverse engineer the formulas that are going on here in the most efficient manner possible. So I'm currently building a custom GPT. I'll try and list that below if it lets me make it public without a load of BAF and verification. Now, at first, I was just going to go through and copy and paste a load of titles saying, make me titles like this, and then paste in a load of descriptions and say, make me descriptions like this. But I've come up with a, a better way so I can get more data faster. So I've gone onto their channel and you can use this for any YouTube channel. And this doesn't just apply to the parasite stuff. I'm only doing this because you can see the pace there knocking out videos. So I want to try and match that because there does seem to be a recency bias for Google video, well, Google video packs and the, the videos ranking in Google do seem to be more recent. So I basically want to just be able to click a button and get my headline sorted from a single topic, a single keyword. So what I've done is I'm using my instant data scraper free Chrome extension. I use it all the time. Now, what that's allowing me to do is just go through their YouTube channel and pick up all of their titles. Now you can use this for a lot of different purposes. For instance, if you want to look at how frequently people are posting or how long their videos are, this is a good way to very quickly scrape all that data from a single YouTube channel. Now the key detail to mind here is instant data scraper normally relies on pages and so you have to specify a next button. Whereas the YouTube channel, that's an infinite scroll, but it does have a setting for that. So I'll wait for it to load up here. I've already scrolled down a bit, so it's picked up quite a large number, but you can see top left here, we've ticked infinite scroll. So now we should be able to click start crawling and it should actually understand that infinite scroll and pick up more titles. Now right now my hands are off the keyboard so we should be able to just watch as the scraper goes through. There you go, it's working. So like I say, hands free, but it understands the infinite scroll. So it knows just to go through and keep picking all of those up. So there's loads of applications for this, but anytime you need to pick up a load of data off a web page, I've used it for things in the past like directories, either for outreach or if you want to set up a directory, maybe as a paid directory, or maybe you want it for lead generation. So I've got a few case studies like that, where basically I was looking for clients in a certain niche. So I built a website, a directory website for that niche. And in order to get content on that site to pre-populate all those listings, I was just able to scrape existing directories. No one minds because they're free access directories anyway. And people listed on there just want maximum exposure. So if they start popping up on new directories, what's the problem? So that's probably enough now. If we go back to Instant Data Scraper, you can see we've now got a huge long list of titles. So we should be able to just feed this into ChatGPT. We don't even need all of them. Of course, you can export this, do whatever you like with it. But in my case, I'm just going to copy as much of this column as I can. Hopefully it all fits into the custom GPT. Again, just look at this, the speed on the side. 10 minutes ago, one hour ago, two hours ago, three hours ago, four hours ago. I've got no idea what the conversion rate on these videos is. We can also see the number of views they're getting. So there does seem to be a step step up. If you're using any sort of traffic service, whether it's Vidoptima or an agency of some sort, whatever you're using, uh, there is typically a delay in approval period. So I'm not saying they are using those platforms, but if there is a delay, then that could be a good sign that basically uh, an earlier video can be still sat in verification. So 24 views in 10 minutes, that'd be quite normal for my channel where I'm just doing plain organic, whereas 2.7 thousand views in five hours, that kind of implies some sort of process has actually gone on and hit that video. Whereas 850 views here, 
uh, that seems stuck three hours ago versus 2,000 views two hours ago. So I'm pretty sure they're using some sort of off-page process, uh, which takes a while to actually filter through. Like I say, in the early days of my channel, I was using some of these tactics. Uh, I do remember occasionally people would comment and say, how is it that you only published this video 30 minutes ago and yet you've got 50 comments on it? Well, sometimes that verification process is a bit shorter than it is most of the time. Anyway, let's go back to my GPT. Now let's tick out the text I've already put in there. Here are examples of their headings and paste. Now I'm hoping ChatGPT is going to understand that and use that to build this custom GPT. Now for the description, unfortunately, I can't shortcut, shortcut that quite as easily. Uh, as usual, GPT Builder is just ChatGPT, so it still gets confused. So it now says, is now set up to generate titles and descriptions in the style of your specified competitor. No, these are just the titles. So please only make titles in this style. Now let's go and grab some descriptions. That's interesting. They've actually got a, a share link in there. And using hashtags a lot, that's really interesting. Here is an example description. I will give you more examples. That's probably it for now. Just paste that in. So again, heavily keyword stuffed. Now I'm worried about using the, the videos on the channel because we've got no proof. There's a, there's a bias there. So basically I only want to highlight the videos that are already performing well. So what's another big ClickBank product? Let's go for Pure Aviv review. And there's one. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, I really don't want to keep focusing on the same channel, but it's just a very select number of channels that keep on coming up every time. So I wouldn't want to <laughs> encroach on anyone else's tip, but it's all just publicly available stuff. If there are more people in the niche, then I would obviously be looking at more people. Next sample, and we'll do one more. Let's try Dentitox, I think it's called. Okay, we've got a new channel here. Uh, we'll ignore some men go online. Let's go off to X and it's the same format, different channel, same format and next example. So I'm just hoping that ChatGPT is actually powerful enough to go into this detail that I want keyword stuff chapters. I want relevant keywords in this long list. Okay. It's already got drunk. It's given me a, a summary of the description. The video description for Dentitox effectively highlights products unique attributes. Here's what it talks about. No, just take note of the style. For my custom GPT, I will give you a keyword. You must generate a YouTube title and description closely mirroring the style of the examples I have given you. Okay, all set to create YouTube video titles. So let's have a go. I am doing Java Burn review. Let's see if this works. Does it really work? Shocking results. Uh, I would say their titles are much more keyword stuffed. So overall, it's pretty good. Uh, it's got the chapters wrong as well. Why is it doing 10 minutes when all of these examples are only three minutes long? The examples are only three minutes long. And so the chapters or timestamps rather, the timestamps should reflect that. Also note how they repeat variations on the keyword in the title. Use keyword stuffing. Of course, we're always complaining that ChatGPT likes to be very nice, friendly, and compliant. Sometimes we need to tell it to be a bit more aggressive and dodgy. It's probably going to come back and say, I don't do keyword stuffing. That's black hat. We can't do that. So let's try again. Java burn review. Okay, that's more like it. Beware before buying Java burn. Full review and alert on Java burn. Coffee enhancer. Timestamps are correct. It's not repeating Java burn reviews. So I might just tweak that slightly. We are typically targeting review keywords. So whatever the keyword is, make sure to repeatedly use variations on the same keyword. E.G burn review, Java burn reviews, Java burn pricing, Java burn scam. Let's try that. Overall though, this is looking pretty close now. I think we should be able to go live with this once it's finished this final update. Let's try it once more. Java burn review. That's a bit better. That's more of an SEO title. Uh, Java burn review. So we've got Java burn review all in one uh, keyword, not split up. Pricing, scam, Java burn benefits review, 
does Java bin. Okay, that's pretty good. If the keyword contains an entity like Java bin, make sure to repeat Java bin frequently. In fact, let's put very frequently. So this next one I am going to hopefully actually use. Now let's try with something that's different to Java burn actually. So let's go for Pure Aviv reviews. Yes, it's got it. Beware, Pure Aviv exposed, unbelievable Pure Aviv reviews update. Must watch before you buy. And that all looks really good. Okay, so now I can do my Java burn review for real. Okay, this is looking really good now. So now I need to save this. I'll change it to anyone with the link. Couldn't be published because it may contain spammy, deceptive or fraudulent content. Okay, guys, change the plan. When you create a GPT like this, it'll give you the instructions here. So you can basically recreate this yourself. So I think what I'll do is I'll put this in the welcome email for my Ranking Revelations newsletter. So just go to seojesus.com, click on Ranking Revelations, and then scroll down, fill in the form there. It's absolutely free. And in that welcome email, I will give you this prompt to create your own custom GPT. So I've now got that video ready to go. So now I can just copy what I've got here. Same thing for the description. I'm not sure this is quite long enough. It's only 950 words. So I might actually go back and extend this a bit in the prompt. But I think this is a really good start. Now, intriguingly, obviously providing a link through cards would be much better for conversion rates. You'll notice I use that in my videos. But you have to get to the YouTube Partner Program for that. Basically, we talk about when you get monetized on YouTube, where, where you get up to your 1,000 subscribers, or I think it's 4,000 hours of watch time. So most people focus on monetization. I don't really worry too much about that. The ad revenue, even that I get on my SEO channel, bear in mind digital marketing is a high-ticket niche generally. The ad revenue is meant to be very good, but the actual proceeds of that are really small. So I'm much more concerned about the ability to put links in videos. That's far more valuable. So getting an affiliate channel like this, where there's not really any value at, you're not going to be getting a whole load of subscribers. That's going to be a bit more difficult, but hopefully using some manipulation strategies and actually ranking that video, we'll get there through watch time alone because we can tell from what's going on that getting a huge volume of traffic to these videos seems to be the answer to getting them ranking. So as a side effect of that, we probably will get our watch time up to the point where we do get to join the partner program anyway, and then we can actually put an affiliate link in the video. So I'll discard that for now, and then we should be good to go. I'll make that public. Now make sure you're prepared to do all these ranking strategies as soon as your video goes live because everything we're doing with YouTube is basically about trying to tell YouTube your video has a potential to go viral because YouTube needs content. So just imagine if YouTube were not giving Mr. Beast uh, enough distribution across the platform, then it'd be missing out on all that Mr. Beast revenue. You know how much he makes from the ad revenue? Well, how much do you think YouTube actually makes from that ad revenue. So YouTube is basically programmed to look for any video that's getting an uptick that looks like it's about to go viral. So that's why we want to throw all this engagement at it as soon as the video goes live, because then we're sending all these signals to YouTube that this is a good video. People are clicking on it. People are watching it through to the end. They're smashing the like button as everyone likes to request. And those are the things that can make your video blow up. We're never going to get that organically for a crappy affiliate review like this. So we have to manipulate it. We have to provide those signals ourselves. So I'm going to do that now. If we hit publish, that's now there. I'm now going to go to VidOptima. I've already got a subscription with them. I'll also try a few of my own techniques, just doing it independently rather than going through a service. That's all going to be a whole another video to cover. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll get that video through to you shortly.